Hey guys, Anthony here, and in this video, I'm going to share with you five tips in Vesme, which is a cloud based all in one visual content platform. These tips may seem basic, but you'll find them very handy when creating content in Vesme. In tip number one, I'll show you how to duplicate objects in Vesme. So here I've got a smart graph for which I've customized the colors and font. If I needed two more of these, now instead of recreating them, I can select it and use this duplicate button to duplicate it twice and then rearrange them like so. In tip number two, I'll show you how to select multiple objects on the canvas. So here I'm using the same example as before. You can use your mouse by holding down the left click button and then dragging like so. So essentially you've selected all of them now. In tip number three, I'll show you how to easily align multiple objects on the canvas. So this is where we left off in our previous example. I can use this align button and then accordingly align these graphs like so. In tip number four, I'll show you how to lock objects on the canvas. So here I've got a busy world map with some markers all over the map. To lock an object in place, right click on the object and then choose lock. I find this very helpful, especially on a slide with multiple objects. So if I accidentally click on a locked object, I will see this message and then I can lock it if I need to. And finally, in tip number five, I'll show you how to convert a text box into a button. So here I've got a simple text box with the word submit. Under settings, you'll find several options. First, using this frame box, I'll apply a background color. Next, I'll turn on this button for border, and under style, I'll choose ridge, and then adjust this roundness slider, and add color. I'll go with white, and here is a finished button. I went ahead and created a few more examples, as you can see. I can also link a specific button to a website by using this link button and entering the website URL into this box. I find this feature very useful in Visme. If you don't have Visme yet, you can try it for free. Check the link in the description section. Well, hope you found these Visme tips helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching.